So I believe magical realism is magical elements in a realistic setting. In the short story, A Very Old Man with Very Large Wings, magical realism is shown because this angel falls down and he becomes like integrated into the town of these normal people, uh, Elisanda and Peleo, and they kind of just take him under their wings, so to speak, because he has wings. I think that's funny. And magical realism, it it's shown through art and literature, and it doesn't always make perfect sense. You really have to dig into it to see what it's about and see what um, they're trying to show you. It kind of has a sense of ambiguity, just like in Power and the Glory. Some examples of magical realism can be paintings or drawings, such as this. Magical realism is mainly in literature and arts, that, that's the most common place where we see it, but I believe in our normal lives, we don't often come across angels and, and unicorns and dragons, but I believe that the magic is in everyday life. I believe that we can find magic in the little things in our day, in spending time laughing with our friends and just doing things that really make us happy. I think that we can find magical realism in things like going to New York with your best friend for two weeks over the summer, or going to a Harry Potter convention and meeting some of your best friends that you've met over the internet. So, having said that, here are some clips of what I think magical realism is and what it really means to me in a realistic setting that is our everyday lives.